I'll Play River by Eminem and Ed Sheeran. We're in standard tuning. There's no capo. I'll be teaching you the intro, the verse, and the chorus, and the chord progression that they go along with those. So, we're going to start out here with the chords. I'm going to teach you the chords. If you already know the chords, you can go ahead and skip ahead. We've got a G sharp minor. We've got a B minor. We've got an E chord. And we have a D sharp minor. If you already know how to play those chords, you can go ahead and skip ahead. Otherwise, I'll be teaching you how to play those chords. So you can see I'm not playing the bar chords. I'm playing these power five chords. Um, just a little easier to play than the bar chords. So for our G sharp minor, we're gonna have our index on our fourth fret of the low E, ring fingers on the sixth fret of the A, pinkies on the sixth fret of the D. And if you can squeeze that middle finger on the fourth fret of the G string, that's what you want. <clears throat> Otherwise you can just bar with your index finger and get the same note. So that's your G sharp minor. For your B minor, I've just been playing this B5 chord, so index is on the first fret or the second fret of the A, and uh, your ring finger is on the fourth fret of the D, and your pinky is on the fourth fret of the G. So it's just a B5 chord, B5. <coughs> uh, the E chord, index is on the first fret of the G string, middle finger is on the second fret of the A, ring finger is on the second fret of the D, you play all six strings. Or you can just play those top ones, it doesn't really matter. And finally for the D sharp, I'm just playing this uh, 5 chord again. So your index is on the 6th fret of the A string, ring fingers on the 8th fret of the D, pinkies on the 8th fret of the G. Those are the main chords we're going to be working with here. Um, I'm going to start out by teaching you the introduction, which is just this. jump into how those chords play in. So, uh, to start out we're going to have our ring finger on the 4th fret of the low E string. We're going to move our index to the 2nd fret of the A, and we're going to play the open E. Back to the 2nd fret of the A, put your ring finger back on the 4th fret of the low E. Then play the 2nd fret of the A again, open E. We're going to slide our ring finger all the way up to the 6th fret of the A and then put our index on the 4th fret of the E. And that's the progression that's played in the intro. So that sounds like this. 4th fret of the E, 2nd fret of the A, open E. 2nd fret of the A, 4th fret of the E. 2nd fret of the A, open E. 6th fret, 4th fret. So that's it. So. That's how the intro goes, and the the verse chord progressions fall right along those lines, so it sounds like this. We're just adding the chords in. Okay, so it's a little more challenging here, but we're going to start out on our G sharp minor chord, and we're going to pluck through each string. So transition to the uh, B5 chord, strum it, and then go to your E chord and pluck through. So the first part is this, it goes G sharp minor, pluck through the strings, just strum on the B5, then we're going to strum the B5 again, and back to the F, or the G sharp. So when you come back to the E the second time, instead of going back to your B, you're going to go up to your D sharp, strum twice, and then it's stri straight back to the F chord. And this is the verse, so I'm going to go through it nice and slow here. G sharp, B5, E, B5, F, or G sharp. B, E, D sharp, and then back to your uh, G sharp. One more time here. All the way up to the D sharp. That's it for 
the verse. That's how the verse goes. Um, the chord progression for the chorus is actually the same, but they start strumming. So when you transition into the verse, you're going to be on this E chord. So <clears throat> you're going to stay on this E chord, start strumming. Go to your F or your G sharp. I keep calling it an F. That's a G sharp. <laughs> so the strumming for the chorus goes like this. Okay, so going through this nice and slow, we're on our G sharp. Strum, 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 and these are all down strokes. So down, 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 down. One down on the B. E. Down, 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 down. Back to the B. One down. Back to your F. Down, 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 down. B. Down one. E. Down. And then <clears throat> the second time around, you actually come all the way up to that D sharp again, just like in the verse. And then you go back to your F. So all together, it sounds like this, nice and slow. And that's it. So that's the chorus. It's the same exact chord progression. You're just strumming instead of finger picking or picking, whatever you're choosing to plug the strings. So it's really just that same chord progression. So you're going um, G sharp, B, 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 G sharp. And occasionally you throw in that D sharp. So that's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. If you'd like to see more tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.